Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen to our presentation about the green leads. This presentation was made by Orhan and me, Hamza, uh, and with all this research, so stand up here too, with all this research about how to make a green leads. Now my friend Orhan is going to explain what sustainability is. Thank you Hamza. No problem. I am Orhan. Uh, I will explain to you guys what sustainability is. Sustainability means a power supply source that will go a number of years and run out uh, of your life of power, like the sun, hydropower, and even the wind. Uh, what great of those things are, they won't ruin the earth, and so the uh, ozone uh, layer will stay intact, uh, and they are unlimited. But what happens if we don't start living sustainable? What happens then, my friend, is the earth will, go, uh, will slowly go and burn off because we are using everything it has in this power and uh, nothing will be left over to run on uh, machines and power plants with. But that is just one thing. There are a lot of more things. Hamza, can you uh, explain the video? Yes, uh, it's nothing, uh, nothing big. We are going to show you to show you a video that we made in the VMark, so I hope you'll, you'll enjoy the tour in the VMark. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Hamza showed you guys the t uh, tour in Fimark. Uh, what, uh, what you see in Fimark are solar panels. They will provide the houses with energy. Uh, what you also see are electric cars. Those will be powered by the charge stations next to them, like you saw in the video. Uh, this whole district is called Fimark. It's the most durable and sustainable uh, district in the whole Will you go to the next slide? Go on, son. <laughs> okay, things that, will, that make VMark the sustainability, sustainable district. Uh, first of all, solar panels. I will explain everything. Solar panels. Those are providing the houses with all the energy they need. Most of their energy and uh, power source is the sun. Electric cars. Are also a huge role uh, because every everyone must go to work and bring their child uh, child to school. So the electric cars will help them a lot and uh, stay clean. Charging stations are linked to the solar panels, so they won't be using <coughs> any uh, fuel that's made from the air. And one of the most things are sword bi sword bins. Sorting bins are uh, different bins with paper, glass, etc. So you can sort everything out and it will be easier to recycle and nothing will be wasted. Uh, things that will, will improve this district. We have three things that will improve this district a lot if they will happen. Compost bins. Compost bins are very important to all if we uh, look at the houses. We have uh, a little small yard with lots of flowers. People are using everything to hold the uh, flowers alive. So if they use their own trash uh, to, to let their plants live and grow, it's better for the earth. Um, eat organic, no GMO foods. Why I said organic and no GMO foods? Uh, those are the best for the ground. There, nothing is added to the soil, it will stay intact, 
And what's great about organic and uh, no GMO foods, they are made locally. And if it's made locally, uh, they won't be, uh, they aren't flied in from another country. Like peaches in Netherlands, everyone eats peaches. They are flied in Spain. And that costs a lot of money and fuel. And that will destroy the earth. Uh, if they are continuing to uh, bring them. Uh, water friendly grains and toilets. Water friendly grains and toilets. Why we include them is everyone uses water, and uh, in Holland there are very, uh, everyone uses most of the water. So uh, where, why we have water friendly grains and toilets is because uh, they won't be using too much. Uh, they won't be using too much water when you flush, or you just you just need to get some water. So we will spare water. Yeah, for important things. Yeah, like uh, giving the garden some water, drinking, and uh, helping the earth stay. And most of all, for us. This is a geothermal power plant. Why uh, we're going to use that, Hansen will explain a little bit, and then I will. Now we are going to. Uh, now we will hope, and if it. No. We're, we want to place geothermal power, power plants in open fields in Leeds and my friends, my friends will explain everything and why we did it. I will explain you why guys. You see this graph? This graph means uh, uh, how thick the earth crust is. Like you see here, 25 kilometers. That's not much because there are places where it's like 70 and 60. So that will be a very good place in India. Uh, this is how a geothermal power plant will work. A geothermal power plant will uh, work like this. There is a river uh, in, in, uh, in Leeds, it's called the air. Why? Because uh, they can get the water from the air, it's cold water, so it will go into the ground, then it will be hot, it will be, uh, get steam, it will be steam. Then it will go to the turbines. They will lead it to generators, which will lead it to the house. And what happens with the warm water that's left after, uh, they will go in the river again, and they will cool off and go in the ground again. Thank you for uh, watching to our presentation. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you have any questions, you can contact the school through our email, or you can call us. Uh, thank you very much.